Football's a, you know, a hard game to play. A pass out on the left flat is caught, fumbled, and picked up. And heading down the right sideline for the Beavers is Caleb Salo. And Salo's run out of bounds deep in Cougar territory. The I Beavers would... take it away again. The Beaver defender ripped the ball out away from the, the Cougar uh, runner. Go off. Looks to his left, now pressured by Rosa and Crichton and fumbles the football. Mono Rosa appears to be on it, and he is at the 15-yard line. Crichton the sack, and Mono Rosa with the recovery. And the Beavers get the ball back. And at two, Mannion turns on the fly sweep, gets it to Cooks. Brandon's going to get the first down and more. Ten to the five and in. Touchdown, Beavers. Brandon Cooks on the fly sweep on fourth and one, and the Beavers lead it 20 to three. This is just a great play call. It was very smart to line up with the jumbo set, and here comes Cooks around the edge. I think if you watch enough film, you know, you kind of feel like, did you ever for a minute think they were gonna to try to just jam it in there no. with that formation? No way, I thought it was a passing down. And now out of split backs on first down, a big hole for Teandre. Caldwell spins his way into the secondary, fumbles the football, and the Beavers recover at the Cougar 35-yard line. Devin Kell, I believe, comes back to recover it. He does. That won't be reviewed. That's a clear, clean fumble. The teams on consecutive plays exchange turnovers. Hogan works out a shotgun on first down. The ball is on the ground. The Beavers need to fight it. It's picked up by Scott Crichton. Crichton coming the other way, 40. 35 to midfield, chased down from behind. Down he goes at the Stanford 42-yard line. The trouble in the mesh on the exchange with the Cardinal running back, Ricky Seal, who fumbled it, never really had full control of it. The ball was laying there, Beaver Nation yelling, pick up the ball, pick up the ball. And Scott Crichton said, forget about falling on it, I'm going to show some running back skills. Second down and three for the Cardinal. Give it to Gaffney. Gaffney gets the first down, but he fumbled the football. And the Beavers recover at the Cardinal 20. <laughs> the wake-up call, Michael. The nope. Beavers get the turnover that they desperately needed to keep hope alive. Boy, and I think the Beaver that recovered, he actually kind of tried it. It might have been Dylan Wynn. Stormwood's the running back and Cooks in motion. Cooks the handoff looking for a lane to the five and Cooks dives in. Touchdown Beavers on the fly sweep to regain the lead on the first play of the fourth quarter. Five seconds in, beautifully blocked. Cooks goes in untouched. Beavers 30, Washington State 24. On the stretch play fake, Mannion to throw. Fires in the back of the end zone. Brandon Cooks, the catch, touchdown Beavers. The 17th connection between Sean Mannion and Brandon Cooks to tie the great combo of Eric Wilhelm to Rob Thomas. 41 and a half points a game is only fourth in the Pac-12. Here's Cooks getting loose for his third touchdown of the fourth quarter. This one from 30 yards, that breaks the school record for connections between one quarterback and one receiver. And Mike Riley with a big smile on his face greets a guy that he speaks very highly of. Now he sends La Fossa out into the left flat and throws. Intercepted by Rashad Reynolds. Down the right sideline, 40. Needs a block, falls down at around the 30-yard line. Rashad Reynolds with the interception. Third and 14 for Halliday. The Beavers trying to get backside pressure. The throw underneath is intercepted at the 40-yard line. Rashad Reynolds with his second straight interception, and the Beavers have the football at the Cougar 39-yard line. Play action fake, Mannion steps up, throwing the deep angle route for Brandon Cooks, who makes the catch! Steps up, throws the deep angle intended for Cooks. Brandon goes up and makes the catch again. A great catch by Cooks. Mannion throws the go for Cooks, under throws, and Brandon, though, somehow pulls it in again. Inside flanker screen to Cooks. Cooks stutters his way at the 35, gets outside of the 20, 15, 10, 5, and Cooks takes it in. Sean Mannion, 493 yards, falls seven yards short of joining Connor Halliday as the only guys to reach 500 yards in a game this year. You know, and Sean Mannion is a guy that deserves to be in the Heisman talks. You look at his numbers, and they stack up against anybody in the country. 
His team scored the final 35 points of this game. They trailed 24-17 with just a few minutes left in the third quarter. Rallied to turn it into a blowout.